Sophia sacrificed herself so I could escape. Better make sure it wasn't in vain. The fleet, including Eisenhower's command ship, Ancon, was saved. Avalanche happened as planned. The U.S. 5th Army and British 8th fighting their way up the Italian mainland. The Angel was dead. But the spark she ignited spread like wildfire, clearing the way for the Allies. But the path to Rome would be treacherous, and it'd be another year before we broke through the Gothic line, the Germans' main line of defense. They did it without us, the townsfolk. Pushed him out before the Fifth Army even got here. All it took was a spark. Talking of which, I hope 617 Squadron didn't singe your limey ass. <laughs> Let's just say it was a little tight. I thought you were giving me a bit more leeway. Carl, you and I are utterly expendable. You know that. Not like your man there. The professor <laughs> hasn't got long left. <laughs> Trust me, though. We'll squeeze what we can out of him. More to the point, uh, what about you, Carl? What's you gonna do? The man who saved Ike Eisenhower, woo-wee! <laughs> OSS could sure use someone with your talents. That sounds like a job offer. Doesn't it, though? I'll think about it. Sure thing. Don't think about it too long. We got a war to win. Damn the 